Hello everyone, welcome to lesson two uh, of Pre-Cal and Applied Math at Morris. Um, this is about map scales. So this one is going to be quite a bit shorter than the last one. Uh, there's only a couple of pages, you can see 11 and 12 in your booklet. Um, so let's jump right into it. It is 1.1, um, the second half of it, according to whatever book we were using. We can call it lesson two, uh, map scale. So uh, on the document, uh, in the bottom right, you can see uh, map scales are typically represented in a couple of different ways. Um, so like on a map, you might see um, the size on the map over the actual length, or you might see uh, a colon or a ratio where the map size is on one side and the actual is on the other. Uh, so for example, if the map scale was one, equal, one inch equals one foot, um, it would have represented in, in a couple of different ways here. Um, so we always want to represent it in the same units, like one inch on the map, one foot on the, uh, in, in real life, it's hard to um, work with that. We want them in the same unit. So we know that one inch on the map is going to be, this is in the map, is equal to 12 inches in real life. Um, so we would represent that as 1 to 12 or 1 over 12 as shown um, up above or in your booklet. So 1 to 12 would be the um, map actual ratio right here and the uh, Second one would be the map size of the actual, uh, like a fraction. Uh, so if the map scale was one inch equals one mile, we would represent it um, one inch is equal to, we have to convert one mile into inches. And you might go back um, a couple of pages into our previous lesson and see that it is 63,360 inches. So we could represent that in a couple of different ways on a map. We might write one inch on the map is 63,360 inches, or we might write one over 63,360 inches. So these are two ways that it could be represented on the map. Um, let's jump right into some examples of how we can use this to find out what some actual distances are. Uh, so. A map of Alaska has a scale of 1 to 4,750,000. The distance on the map between Paxson and the Canadian border is 3 and 11 16 inches. Okay, so we're talking inches here. What is the distance to the nearest mile? So we know that we have 3 uh, and 11 16 inches. Um, but these mixed numbers are really unhelpful for ma for doing mathematics, so we're going to turn that into a decimal. So if I punch that 11 over 16 into my calculator, uh, I'm going to get the 0.6875, so that would be 3.6875 inches. And since one inch, since one inch is equal to 4,750,000 inches according to the map. That means that I need to multiply the number of inches I have by this number to find out the number of actual inches. So 3.8, oh sorry, 6875 multiplied by 4,750,000, one, two, three. I think I missed a zero here is going to equal 17,515,625 inches. So if I was to tell you from Winnipeg to Brandon, it is 24 million inches. That wouldn't really help you, right? So we wanna take the number of actual inches it is and we want to turn that into miles. 
So how do we turn that into miles? We go back to our previous lesson and we write our conversion factors with what we want on the top and what we're in on the bottom. So we've got 17,515,625, which is, I'll make my brackets. And I want miles. So miles goes on top, inches goes on the bottom. In one mile, I know that there are 63,360 inches. That's from above or from a previous lesson. So you divide those numbers to get, it ends up being approximately 276 miles. That's more helpful than 17 million inches. We'll move on to um, an actual map. So this is a blurry map of Canada and uh, oh, just Canada on this one. I guess the assignment that you'll have is has the whole map of whole North America. This is just Canada. Um, and what we're going to do is if the map scale is one to 44 million three hundred fifty two thousand, this is in inches. We're going to determine the straight line in distance from in miles from Victoria to Edmonton. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a ruler and you're going to measure that distance on your map. So uh, actually see how many inches it is. Um, I have actually done that and it is. So pause it and actually do it, write down what you get. One and one eighth inch is what I get, which if I take that fraction, I turn it into a decimal, it's 1.125 inches. Now I measured it in one and one eighths of an inch because that is how my ruler allowed me to measure it. I could have measured it in centimeters and converted it over, um, but you can't really get a decimal very well from the ruler. You can get fractions. So that's how you measure it and then you convert it into a decimal. So it's about 1.125 inches um, to get from Victoria to Edmonton. So that was question one. Good job, everyone. The second question, second step, is to use the scale to convert the map distance into the actual distance. And again, this is going to be the distance in inches. So we know that every one inch is 44 million, let's write that down, 44 million, 500, 352,000 inches. One to that number. So we're going to multiply these two numbers together. 1.125 multiplied by 44,352,000 that will get us 49,896,000 inches. It's a lot of inches and that's not really helpful to understand how far apart two cities are. So question three is to convert the distance from inches to miles. So if we know it's 49,000, 49,896,000, we're going to have what we want on top, which is miles, what we're in on the bottom, which is inches, one mile, 63,360 inches, it's equal to approximately 700, and 88 miles, which makes sense. Um, driving through the mountains takes about, you know, 16 hours maybe to get from Vancouver to um, Edmonton. So this makes sense. 788 miles. Um, that's all for today. Um, check out your do nows and get ready for the assignment. Thanks, everyone.